I don't have something on my head. I gotta fix that real quick. Okay, so I wanted to try something a little bit different this week where I I haven't drawn anything, like sat down and just sketched out something in ages because usually it takes me like two to four hours to do it and I get really freaking bored of it and by the end it just looks like, oh, this looks wrong, this looks wrong. I don't have much confidence in my drawing skills. It's not bad, it's just not what I want most of the time, but we're going to put that negativity aside, it's no, has no use here, and we're going to sketch something today. I don't know what yet, but we're just going to sit down, probably like use a picture as a reference, and we are going to sketch something, and we'll see how it turns out. So, let's do it. What I decided to draw today was my cat and for a reference photo this is just what I used this is from whenever he was sitting in my closet like probably a year ago and he looked really cute so I just took a picture of him then and since he's my cat I save all the pictures I take of him I also usually take multiple pictures at one time but I thought he was really cute in this picture and there was like another picture that was I was debating on drawing but I ended up going with this one and then I just started drawing him, and the first thing I did was try to draw an outline of him, which it's been a while since I've drawn basically anything with just a pencil and it not being scribbled. So it was another experience since I haven't done this in a while. But I don't think it was necessarily a bad experience. I started off with his face, and the one thing that I try to do them when drawing, which doesn't happen a lot, is if I'm drawing animals, I want to make them look like they're still alive, as if their eyes are still looking into you, and I think I got that with um, the eyes that I drew on my cat, in the drawing at least, because I feel like he is looking back at me, where I've done some drawings of him, where his eyes just look really fake and it doesn't quite look right, but I think I really got the living aspect of it. At least to me it looks enough alive that I'm happy with it. And the entire time I was drawing this I just had the reference photo and zoom in to specific places and move the photo around so I would have a better angle at what I was trying to look at and then trying to draw. And I kind of went all over the picture just doing whatever I felt was best at that moment. Because I went down and did, like, the feet, and then I came up and did the face again. And then I went and down and did the sides, and it was just going basically everywhere until I finished the drawing. Which I think that was a good enough way to do it, because if I just went from top to bottom, I feel like the bottom would probably look better than the top, because I did the bottom last, and I had, like, the most experience from doing the top to do the bottom. But since I went back and forth, I was able to kind of fix up some things that I maybe didn't like as much after I went and did something else. While I was drawing this, even if, whenever it was like half finished, I knew it was gonna... I really liked how it was looking at that point, and I liked it. So I knew that by the end of it, unless I made some big mistake, I was probably gonna like this picture, which I did end up liking it at the end. Uh, the only problem that I really had was... Where the body connected to the head looked a bit bigger in the sketch than it did in the drawing because he's supposed to be like stepping forward and you're supposed to have the longer neck but I don't think I was really able to show that as well but I still really like how the picture actually turned out. The part that definitely took the longest was drawing in all of the fur because it was just a bunch of tiny little lines so that took the longest and then to finish it I just drew in the rest of the face, and then it was done. I really liked how it turned out. I thought it looked really good, close enough to the picture that it's like, I know what the, this drawing is. And after I finished, I just wrote my signature in the bottom, and then here it is. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.